All right, test, 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 test. <clears throat> All right, welcome back to Convincing Idiots. Uh, pop culture headlines here, gentlemen. So, uh, who in the hell do you think you're calling a gentleman? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's uh, definitely not Nick. Sorry, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's Mister Little Spoon to you, sir. That's right. That's right. Baby spoon. <laughs> <laughs> spoon. Oh, baby, baby spoon. little baby spoon. <laughs> Think of my baby oh, spoon. If I was a rapper, my name would be like Lil Spoon. <laughs> Lil Spoon. I like that. Lil Spoon. Lil Spoon. I like that. Yeah. That's good. I like that. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay, so I, I have an IV. We're messing around with uh, different segments, and you know, it's, it, we, we, we continue. See, so we continue to evolve here, guys. Right? We continue to experiment and evolve. And yet, this and, is the and, best we've got. Well, you know, so, <laughs> but uh, you know, so we, we we thought we'd work in, in in the idiot question of the week, okay? And we'll and we'll see how this goes, right? Um, we're already talking about pop culture headlines here, but um, so I, I I like to know what you think about the whole, you know, is it, what do you think about Velma from Scooby Doo? I think she's being, hot. Yep. Oh, that, that I do. Not, were you not done? It, it's a, yeah. I okay, dip it but, in her ink. What do we think about Velma being called a Karen and the whole Karen and cancel culture here, guys? So what, a story came up here. Uh, there's a, there's some online game. I'm, I'm, I think it's like a smartphone game or something like that, it seems like to me. But it's called Multiverses. So it's different characters. Uh, they battle, and you try to solve a mystery or something along that line. So there's many famous characters you can choose from. Uh, DC Comics, uh, Bugs Bunny, Tasmanian Devil, and Velma from Scooby-Doo, amongst others. LeBron James is in there from Space Jam. <laughs> uh, that's not what LeBron sounds like. That's no, right. Well, that's spoken no. on that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tasmanian LeBron. <laughs> I think he, LeBron did sound like that maybe at the end of last season when the Lakers did not make the make the playoffs. <laughs> he was mad. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so in the game, apparently, Velma had the ability to call the police on other characters as part of this whole mystery solving or whatever the hell it was. And uh, <laughs> some people began to complain and call Velma a Karen because she had the ability to call the police on characters in general, but including, of course, black characters in the game. So some people took offense that they had a, a a character calling the police on black characters that she was accusing of a crime. So again, I what I what I what I'm gathering from the, the article here is it's not it's, it's not that she could just call the character uh, call the police only on black characters, which would be of course, wildly inappropriate. Sure. Uh, but she could just call the police on characters in general. So they changed the game. They changed the game to where when she makes a phone call in the game now, she's calling the Mystery Machine and the Scooby-Doo gang to come to her aid or something along that line. So some people have said, yeah, I'm glad you changed it because it seemed offensive to me that you had a white character calling the police on black characters. Other people said, hey, listen, it's it's just a stupid game. What are you talking about? It's, you know, they didn't design the game purposely for that reason. So it's yet another example of, you know, is it, is it people being too sensitive? Do they have a point? Uh, is this cancel culture going too far at times? So what do you think about Velma being called a Karen in this game and then them changing the game accordingly? So, Nick, go ahead, sir. Oh, as, I thought as, I, was, oh. I was trying to high-five you. <laughs> oh, I, I got yeah. confused. Oh, I thought, I thought I you were say, raising your hand. Uh, no, he was. I was being a dick. As nice a millennial, can I, can I start and say that sure, I think please. this is being a little touchy? <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, A, it's a video game, okay? Exactly. Um, 
B, I, I don't think that calling the police makes you a Karen. Now, there could be a plethora of reasons one might call the authorities, okay? Sure. And they, could, they could range from, uh, you know, uh, a hunch or a suspicion all the way to a confirmed, like, I've seen some shit happen, I know that, you know, whatever. I don't think, when I think Karen... I don't think that's like anybody who picks up and calls the police. I, I, I think of it more of like a, it's the let me speak to your manager kind of stuff. You know what I mean? It's right. stuff that's not even that serious that you're getting upset about, I guess, to me. In my opinion, if it's a situation where someone feels the authorities need called, that's pr- I don't, I think we're out of Karen territory. That's just a concerned citizen. Um, it so, depends. like you said, it depends on situation. It's per situation you, on this. Sure. Okay. Sure. There's yeah. There's some wiggle room with that. Um, like you said, if this game was set up to where the only person that you were able to call on were <laughs> black characters in the game, that would be egregiously fucked up and over the line. But, but I mean, the ability to literally pick up the phone and call the police in a video game. Is I mean I feel like we're that's that sounds to me like people are going out of their way a little bit to like be offended or make it something that I'm sure it was not intended at all to be, um, but I you know I don't know and also you said like the can the cancel culture it, it it's not really canceling because it's a video game <laughs> like nobody actually got canceled you know what true. I mean like it's true so, You've digitally I mean, I canceled her. We've digitally canceled. Phil. Well, she's still in the game. She just we've canceled the option to call <clears throat> the police. That's true. At this yes, point, sure. that's um, right. But uh, no, I now if the in this game, also another thing that would be a problem, uh, problematic. If the police just show up to the scene and shoot whoever it is without asking any questions, that also would be a problem. You know. Sure. But sure. I think uh, just the the ability to call the police on a video game. Um, is probably I feel like that the people are being a little bit touchy with that, but uh, that that's that's sure opinion. Uh, Keith, Keith said on the I, we talked about this on the came from Gen X as well. Keith said that she should be able to call the police on LeBron James because he's stealing from the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, that's pretty funny. So, first of all, the game uh, messed up in general because like it made no sense. Like first of all, what a Whose superpower is just calling somebody? I yeah. That's lame in the first place. Second off, the police. She literally solves crimes for a living. Why would she need the police in a video game scenario? Right. She should be solving them herself. Or get your damn flashlight out and solve it yourself. Right. Jinkies, motherfucker. Jinkies. Jinkies. Maybe she didn't have her glasses. She can't see a thing That's without right. her glasses. Mm-hmm. So, so call the optometrist. Or like like they ended up doing, call the mystery machine and get the Scooby out there. This high ass. Um, now, as far as uh, the cancel, cancel culture and Karen's and all of that going too far, I mean, again, it's, it's in, based on individual situations. Um, I, when you first told me that, remember, off, uh, off live, right? I called it out even before you, you know, got to the Karen part. I was like, oh, right. she'd be in a Karen. Mm-hmm. I saw, I could tell what that seemed like. Um, I didn't necessarily go to the first idea of like it being a race thing of her calling on African American characters. I didn't know that that, you know, I didn't hear the lineup of characters, first of all. Um, I just, you know, and the, the whole Karen culture situation anyways, isn't ultimately just on, um, based on race. It is also True. based on just the, um, you know, the, the having, you know, they think that they're right. They, they, they think that everything revolves around them. They think that, you know, they are the, the, the moral police when instead they're, you know, obviously what they are. Um, they have a, a, a self-entitlement issues, to say the least. That is what a Karen is. Um, but yes, it does ultimately come down to, and, and a lot of them involve uh, Karens and African-American. Uh, uh, actually, a lot of African-American, like, young men mm-hmm. seems to be the situations. A lot of, you know, a lot of the videos you see. So, again... 
it is a problem in this video game. Did they need to change it? If it was based on the Karen thing, no. But based on just shitty writing for the video game, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't very good. It it, it was a shitty superpower. Um, like Nick's superpower is, uh, you know, growing a beard poorly. You know, he wishes he had a different one, but mm-hmm. this is what it is. Look, he's trying. He's tr- get him angry. Get him angry. Look, nah, I, shit my pants. I get it. Oh, mm. it happens every time. <laughs> happens every time. <laughs> so yeah, that's my take, gentlemen. Yeah, I, on this one, I'm, I agree with you guys here. It's like, you know, some of the feedback here was again, it's. You know, some people say, I'm uh, reading some of the some of the uh, Twitter responses to some of this they shared in the article. You're like, you know, Velma calling the police is nothing new. If you watch Scooby-Doo growing up, it's, you know, they, they did call the police when, you know, to uh, arrest the, the bad guys. At the, yeah, because you, know, you get handcuffs, often. The, the mask coming off. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And others say that it's more thematically appropriate. It's just like, I just... Some of the stuff is that people to it's just, it's it's I some of the stuff where it gets to be people oversensitive on some of the stuff is is a little ridiculous. I don't know. I if agree with that. I don't know if people have the yeah. time. I it's it every time I hear some of the stuff that people complain about like this, it's just like I'm just, it just bewilders me that you even have the time to sit down and try to make a big deal out of some of this ridiculousness i don't know like you say Diaz, from a design perspective it probably makes more sense to call the the gang i guess but right you know i don't know stuff like this so it, it, the, and the fact that the it i don't it, the the gaming company i get it they're just trying to look we're just, we're just trying to sell games around here so if we're getting too much back last year we're going to take the high road and just change the game and just to shut people up and just keep to keep things moving you know, so I don't know. So it's, I get it from their perspective, I suppose, but I don't know. It just it's ridiculous. Well, I, Nick Nick's been canceled right now, so yeah, we'll, temporarily you know, canceled. Te- temporarily canceled. So we'll just have to uh, move on without him. Hey, did you like that video? You know you did, and we know you did. So stop screwing around and go like that video. Subscribe to our channel and join us for some more. Coming up this week on Convincing Idiots, you have, as always, Idiots Review. You have, We talk about the Emmys. You want to hear about the Emmys? Did you not watch it? We will let you know the winners and losers from these losers. Uh, Nick, do we have a fall preview? We do. We, thank you. Nick is in. <laughs> if you want to hear a, a, the, the, the oh. voice of the fall preview... Stay tuned. Uh, Monday morning, the this starts your the week just right, the perfect way. So, ladies and gentlemen, stay you know join with us to fucking convincing it. Right, that, uh, that was so no, fucking no, convincing it. I, I, so close. I hated so it halfway close. through. I, I I knew that was sorry. Me. I didn't. Uh... This this feather has been poking my fucking back all night. Why are you growing feathers? Wow. 
<laughs> this week on Convincing Idiots, <laughs> Dean is turning into a fucking chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Furry and tummies. we don't know why. Furry tummies and chicken feathers. <laughs> Furry tummies and chicken feathers. I think we just have the, the uh, name of the episode, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Furry tummies and chicken feathers.